One simple message. You know, we need to support farmers. So I think Dr. Paul B. Thompson, agriculture ethicist and philosopher, discussed various farming issues amongst a panel at UNO on behalf of the Center for Rural Affairs and Humanities in Nebraska. Among the topics discussed were vertical integration in agriculture, the humane treatment of animals, and the developments in the EPA's Clean Water Act. It just feels like there's a lot of tension in the food system right now. According to Thompson, our forefathers thought sustainability meant creating a society that is robust, resilient, and adaptive. With vertical integration, most farmers are dependent on the monopolies that integrate them, while owner-operated farms are becoming more scarce. I don't think we're ever going to get back to, you know, 60 percent of the population farming. Fred Ulrich and his son Pat farm in the Louisville area of Nebraska, where they have 1,000 total acres dedicated to soybeans, corn, and hay. We are a family farm. We're not necessarily as corporate as some other farms may be. While technology has greatly shaped the efficiency of farming, there are still multiple concerns among the industry. To feed the world, we're going to have to double our crop production in the next 30, 40 years. While the Ulrichs touched on the importance of community ties to farming, we must also keep up with the EPA's developments of the Clean Water Act, which could potentially give the federal government power to regulate all waterways, meaning less control for farmers. There's always a fine line between regulation and common sense. And that's what, so far, common sense has prevailed, but with the EPA, that doesn't always work. For the Omaha News, I'm Blake Higginbotham.